Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cool 3D grunge text. And uh, yeah, this isn't Cinema 4D, but we are going to be using a bit of Photoshop as well. Uh, not very min not very much at all, it's very minimal, but uh, yeah, it looks really cool. And um, yeah, you can I used this on my last speed art and it actually looked pretty cool for rated, uh, rated designs um, header. So yeah, they look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I've been asked to show you guys how to do it. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to get as our final outcome once it's loaded but um yeah so it's really cool and uh, it's kind of old school you used they used to see these kind of styles a lot and uh, yeah they kind of dissipated over the last few years but um yeah this it does look really cool and i'm going to show you guys how to do it so um first off we're going to be getting our textures from google so all you need to do is type in grunge texture or you can type in smooth texture whatever texture you're looking for um, i'm going to be using this one as you can see i've already downloaded it right here so all you need to do is save that image then put it into Photoshop so you just want to click and drag it in and then we'll have it open in Photoshop the reason why we're doing this is because we need to cut off where it has these dark edges because if we just put um, this texture on our on our logo let me just show you what happens um, so let's just go to load image this press no so yeah, um, if you don't do this step in Photoshop, um, what you will have is you'll just have these. Um, you see, like you just have these cut-off points, and you don't really want these. But, and yeah, so it kind of picks up that it's a rectangle image, and that um, that it's dark on the outsides. So we need to take away the dark on the outsides. So to do that, let's go into Photoshop, import your grunge, and then just go to the crop tool, which is over here and then just drag in the edge so that there's no more dark around the outside and um, don't you don't need to worry about making it too small but obviously if it is too small then the image the, I mean the grunge can be a bit blurred in cinema 4d so you don't want to make it too small but um, yeah this is fine so as you can see with our new image it's all just white you can see there's a little bit of black around the outsides here but it won't be noticeable and yeah this should be fine so now what we're going to do is we're going to save it so let's go to file export save for web legacy and just uh, save it into downloads or whatever wherever is easiest to find it and then um, yeah so the lightroom that we're going to be using is is from rated's uh, I don't know which pack it was the link will be in the description to download it um, well it will be a link to his video where you can download it because uh, I'm not gonna down I'm not gonna give a link to download someone else's things through my own link so yeah uh, you need to go check out his video which I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download this Lightroom, it's really good, I use it for pretty much everything and um, yeah so once we've done that we're going to go to file open and we're going to import the cinema, f uh, well the AI version uh, of our um, of our logo so just open it and we'll have these parts, if you don't know how to get this I do have a tutorial on how to make a logo 3D so it will explain this step and uh, yeah I'll leave a link to that in the description as well so once you've done that you just want to copy your layer so you can see the, the layers are here and you just want to press command C and that will copy it and let's go to our Lightroom and press command V and of course if you're, if you're on Windows you'll have to use uh, control instead of command and you just want to drag it into our focus point which is in the center right there and now because there are three paths for each letter we are going to um, add three extrude nerves so to do that just click on this icon and drag and then go to extrude nerves release and just do that until you have three and I just want to drag these points into each one and now we can see that we have made our logo 3d pretty much and um, yeah so now we've done that we can click on the minus on all of these just so it's a bit easier to see it's a bit clearer you want to select all of your extrude nerves by clicking shift and up and then we want to change our our last movement because this movement is the depth so how like how 3d you want it to be so you can see there I can make it as 3d as I want and uh, I'd say probably about 120 is good uh, just whatever looks good for your logo look different for each logo but uh, yeah this is looking pretty good so far so now what you want to do is you want to double click in this box but make sure it's not on a material that's already been made so you just want to double click in a blank area and as you can see um, a new material has come so now what you're going to do is you want to double click on that material, then go to texture, load image, and then click on the on the image that we just saved from Photoshop, and then just double click, and then this pop-up window will come, just press no, 
and there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this circle right here, um, and then you wanna go down to uh, where is it? Rounded cube soft shadow. Wait, no, that's not it. It is uh, object soft shadow. And I don't know why we, um, we do this. I think it just adds more quality to the texture or it adds more uh, effect to it. But it does look a lot better. I think it just makes it look more realistic. But um, yeah, so you just want to right click and go to object, soft shadow. And uh, yeah, so now we've done that, you just want to drag it on to our logo. And as you can see, it automatically puts the, the texture onto the three layers. And you won't actually see it until you press on the render icon, which is up here. And uh, once you press render, press OK, and um, now we can see that the texture is now on our text, on our logo, and it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, now we could export this. But before we do that, we're just gonna click on each um, each material on the layer, go to where it says projection, and change this to cubic, and then this will project the um, the texture on all sides of the logo and not just the front. And uh, yeah. So now we've done that, we could just go to our render settings, which is up here. Uh, select the place where you want to save it. So just press on those three dots, and then you can select the destination. And we'll just put Baz uh, Texture Logo, just like that. And it will save. All the settings should be fine because um, if you if you are using rated Lightroom pack, then all the settings will have already been set up for you. And then now, once you've done that, you just want to click on the middle icon, which is right here, and that will render. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how you do that. You can see it starts to render there. Also, if you wanted, you could, uh, let me just stop that. We could rotate each of the letters or each part of the logo and uh, that can add a nice effect too. So to do that, you just wanna click on one of the parts and click on the rotation tool up there. And then we can just click and then we can just drag on the sphere to how much we want to rotate it. And we can do that for each letter. And uh, so you might want to go up a little bit on this one. And then for the Z, um, we'll just rotate it in. Okay, that's good. And then we can go back to the move tool and then we can move them all a bit closer together if we wanted to as well. So let's just do that. And there we go, it looks pretty cool. And uh, now we can go to render. Oh, well, we'll just preview it because I don't actually want to render it out as a file. But uh, yeah, we can just go to the preview and then yeah, so this is how it would look if you were to do it yourself. You can see that we have these lines here, and that's because this is Cinema 4D matching up the, well, it's layering the um, the image that we have. So to fix that, you just wanna click on each material, and then uh, just click, oh, didn't click the top one, and just click Seamless, which is right here. And then when you render it out again, you could see that it is now gone. It will fade, it will, they will pretty much fade into each other and you won't notice the the added lines in between each um, in between each texture which has been layering and uh, yeah so uh, that's how you do this cool texture on your logo or text and uh, thank you guys for watching the tutorial if you did find it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video